Hey y'all, it's Caleb here. Uh, so I realized that um, I've referenced uh, gists and created some gists for a number of my videos, um, but haven't actually gone into what a uh, gist is. So I figured I'd, I'd do a video today um, on creating a, a gist in, in GitHub. Uh, so uh, you go to GitHub and log in. And to create a gist, um, you would do this plus in the top. Instead of doing a repository, you would do new gist. Now, the, the difference between a GitHub repository and, and a gist, right, is a repository, it, you're typically going to be, you know, an application or a solution or, or a larger number of files. Um, and with gist, at least uh, in my experience, right, it's... Uh, well, it can be more than one file, right? It's uh, typically uh, one or two files, um, maybe a code snippet that you're sharing with um, with a coworker, or in my instance, sharing uh, along with my YouTube videos um, that gets across a point or or shares uh, um, you know some code without having to build um, a full blown repository. Um, and so, of course, the file name can be can be anything you want it to be. Um, for this, I'm just going to do uh, a couple of files um, with uh, for one of my Angular projects, uh, just just as an example, right? So this is the the TypeScript file, and then we're going to add another file, and this one's actually going to be the HTML, right? Um, so this can be, uh, you know any number of files that you want. Um, but I wouldn't do a large amount of them. If you have something that's, that's a larger project or meant to a uh, number of pieces meant to go together, especially something that you're going to uh, build, compile and run. Um, you're better off doing a repositories. Um, but, uh, in this case, right. Um, uh, these are two, two files. Uh, one gist, and of course you can you can determine your your spacing and your wrapping. Um, some fairly you know simplistic options. Um, one of the important pieces of creating a gist is this button down here, right? So you can create a secret gist or a public gist. And um, with a secret gist, um, it is not private. Uh, it is it is not. Um, discoverable by search engines and it's not uh, it's not in their discover section where you can go and just see public gists um, and find find code snippets but if you share it with a friend or co-worker um, they will have access to it without you having to to provide them access and if uh, someone other than a friend or co-worker uh, gets a hold of the URL they'll be able to access it as well so do not use secret gists for confidential code or information because while it's not easily accessible, it is still accessible uh, if you have the URL. Um, and then the other option is, of course, a public gist, which, which um, anyone and everyone can see, and they will show up in uh, GitHub's Discover section. Um, so in this case, we're going to create um, a public gist. And then you'll see right here, right, that um, you have the HTML and the TypeScript, right? And then uh, we can embed it. Um, you know, we can we can uh, save a copy. Um, we can share this link. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that gists um, also uh, handle in the same way that a repository would. Um, they have revisions. Um, as you make changes, um, it's going to create a new revision. So you'll you'll be able to see all of the code that's been committed um, on every edit, basically. Um, so that's how you create a gist. Um, that is how I have uh, created some for for our examples, like some of the PowerShell scripts. Um, and it's it's a really useful tool um, if you need to share something simple um, with someone else um, outside of, of um, 
say, you know, uh, if you're using Confluence or your or Wiki, internal Wiki, right? Um, so uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you have any cool gists that you've seen, uh, please uh, add a comment below because um, I'd, I'd love to see them. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. Bye, y'all.